Well, hello everybody. It's me again, and this is part two of the Coffee Filter Christmas Tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what I've done so far is um, I started spraying, make my own um, ink sprays, paint sprays, things like that. This has got, uh, this is from Anita's. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, I think, like forever ago. It's classic gold, metallic paint. Um, never go and get anything at Hobby Lobby unless it's a 50% off day. Um, and I put it in a little spray bottle, probably about yay much paint. Not quite that much, maybe about yay much. And then the rest with water. Now you can do this also with alcohol. Now this is just a shimmer spray. And even though it, it almost looks the same, you can see this one's a little bit more opaque, a little bit more dense. This just gives like a shimmer on top. There's not a lot of, super lot of color, but um, what I'll do is I'll spray this with gold and I'll do two, two, two coats, do, 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 do. rewind. Um, I'll do two coats, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, you know, to give it the depth I want. Now, you don't have to, you can leave it as light as this. Okay, but like I was saying, um, the person I'm doing this for, uh, her colors are gold and burgundy, so I want the gold a little bit more pronounced. And when I get it to the color I want, then I'll just do a light coat of the spray. Now the shimmer spray, all I did was I went to the dollar store, Dollar General, and they have these little tubs of uh, loose powder eyeshadow. Okay, um, you got to make sure it's the loose powder and it was like a buck, right? It's this little bitty tub and then when you open it up and you pull the top off, it's got that little brush in it. Well, I popped the lid off and you don't need very much. And I put some in here with some alcohol. Um, I used the 90% alcohol, not the regular 70 that you get, you know, just straight up over the counter. You can get it at Walmart. Walgreens, CVS, uh, you know, um, anywhere, any pharmacy will sell it for you. It is a little bit more expensive than the regular 70%, but not by much. You can use the 70%, but um, I found, and with all my research, a lot of crafters say use the 90%. So uh, with the eyeshadow, you don't need that much. Um, Maybe a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon type thing um, to a bottle like this, which I believe is, I don't know, two, three ounces maybe. And then what I do is I put a couple of little beads in the bottom or inside uh, to help mix it up. <clears throat> you know, just a couple loose beads, little plastic things, nothing, you know, expensive or anything. And then shake. And then this gives you the shimmer. Now, when it sets for a while, it'll look like your water will be white, and then there will be like a little uh, line of color at the bottom. All you got to do is just shake it up again. So, see, so you can see how the colors at the bottom. Not too much because I've been shaking this and I've been using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over here for now. Move some of these papers out of the way. Okay, that's just for any blowback. And then just start spraying. Now with the water, the reason I'm using this and not just like a regular spray paint is a regular spray paint is really is it dries hard. And you don't want that. You want the flow on the, uh, you want it loose and soft. You don't want it hard and stiff. Ah, uh, that's what she said. Okay. So all I'm doing is spraying and I'm, I'm not worrying about getting all the way in there or anything. What's cool about using the water is that, um, when it dries, the water evaporates and the colors left. Same with the alcohol. The alcohol evaporates and then the product is left. So, um, in whatever way you feel comfortable doing this. 
and you can use any color, obviously. Like I said, her colors are golden burgundy, so um, I didn't want to do a burgundy tree. That would just be a little bit much, in my opinion. So I talked to her, and she agreed, you know, a gold tree, and then doing the, you know, the most of the uh, decorations and ornaments and things like that in the burgundy. So, on that note, you see, I only did one little row. And then when you're done painting the whole thing, uh, you want to let it dry before you do a second coat or a third coat or, you know, whatever your preference is. So, I'm going to paint this over. I'm going to let it dry and show you what it looks like with the first coat. And then I will uh, bleh, rewind. Okay. I'll come back and then I'll show you again after the second coat. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the first coat done and it's still wet. Now the light is going to make it look more mottled than it is, but it's really pretty. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to do a little bit more because there is some spots that I want a little bit darker. And I'm going to clean this up. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I've got the first coat done. I had to stop and get me some coffee. Set this aside. And I will turn this so you can see. You can see it looks, it looks like it's not done. It's almost dry. Um, there are some spots that are a little damp, like on the bottom. Like right here, where it looks like there's not enough gold. It's just light. So as I turn that, now... I'm personally thinking that this is going to be enough. I don't know that I want to do a second coat. But what I might do is I might go ahead and just add the shimmer. There's a little bit of glitter on it. I don't know if you can see. I can't tell in the camera. Um, because of the metallic paint. you know. So there is that little bit of shimmer. But... <clears throat> You know, there's a couple of spots that might need a little bit, you know, that are really, really um, let me shake this up a little bit. Okay. And I'm just gonna do a little bit in there. Okay. Just gonna set that aside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the shimmer. And see how that looks. You won't see it right away. And I'm not doing it all over. But. I think what this is going to do is it's going to give. The gold that's already on there because I'm using a gold shimmer a little bit more oomph turn it just a little bit more And that'll be it. Now what I did want to say is if you're in a hurry and you wanted it to dry faster because the shimmer is made with alcohol and the gold, it's like H2O sprays, um, water sprays, um, is water. You could get away with using a hair dryer to dry it. I would suggest, highly suggest, that you not use heat gun heat gun is just way too hot and it can singe and burn and melt the uh, 
stuff. <laughs> the coffee filters, thank you. Um, this is really pretty. And I think what I'm going to do is I still need to let this dry a little bit more because I just added the shimmer. It won't take this long because uh, shimmer was made with alcohol. While that is drying, I wanted to kind of throw in a little helpful hint. Um, let me move this off to the side. Okay. I've got paint. You can't tell, but there's uh, metallic paint on here. And if it, if it dries and you don't get to it right away, and usually with acrylic paint, which is what I used, you know, in my gold uh, water spray, um, it dries. And it's a pain in the butt. But I have some regular alcohol, some 70%. Okay, right here, 70. And what I do is I'll just pour a little bit over my, whoa, let me get that before it runs off. I'm not quite level. And I'll use alcohol. And you can use it in a spray, you know. I've got one little spray container that's got alcohol in it. And, uh, but the alcohol will get it off if you've got Sharpie that ended up on your desk. You've got marks of Sharpie. Alcohol will wipe it off. I actually did a, a, a an overspray, whoops, an overspray one time and ended up with red acrylic paint on my wall. Okay, my white wall. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, because we were renting at the time. And I grabbed an alcohol pad. And um, it got it right off. And it didn't, you know, eat through the paint that was already on it. So, so let me close this up. I've got a little bit of a mess underneath because of the, you know, the, golly gee, my words are not coming out today. Again, probably because I haven't finished my first cup of coffee, but, uh, yeah, the little shreds, confetti, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and on that note, I'm going to pause this for a minute, get some of my supplies together while this dries, and uh, oh. clean off my glass, and then I'll be right back. So, see, it's not as bad. I got this set up. Create a reuse um, place, you know, like a, uh, you call it, a thrift store. And it was in an area that had building supplies. I'm just using an alcohol pad because I already put the other one away. Oh, I flipped it. That's why it's not there. Okay. Anyway, um, and I found this piece of beveled glass. It's pretty thick. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so much better than, you know, spending $30 to try and get a, a crap glass. The edges are beveled, so they're soft. They're not sharp. You know, they've been sanded down and rounded. And I think I spent uh, possibly a dollar on this piece. And it's, you know, I believe it's like 14 by 14. It might be 16 by 16. Yeah, it's 16 by 16. And it's perfect. It's perfect for my little craft area. I wished it was a little bigger, but I'm happy with what I got. So I'm going to let you go for just a minute, and I will be right back. Okay. I was looking on eBay for some miniature ornaments 
I found a seller that was uh, selling a box, you know, like a lot. Um, there was like 65 items. I think she was counting each and every little piece, but uh, I still, let's see, not these because I got these at Walmart. Set these aside. And this. But I got all of these pieces. Plus, you know, I guess some leftovers that she hadn't used. And there's still a few in the other box. For like 10 bucks. I was so happy. And shipping. This was like $4. This was $4. This was $4. This was two, two, two. <laughs> You know, I mean, I got a really good deal, so I was really happy about it. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, but yeah, so I'm looking at, you know, how I want to put this together. Now, some of these um, have the hoops where you put the hooks in. Obviously, we're not going to be able to put hooks on this. But her thing is she wanted, which doesn't make sense because she wants black and red and plaid on gold. So maybe, I don't know, I'll think about that. But I got some pine cones from uh, Walmart and I thought those would look really cute on there. And all I'm doing, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue them on, okay? That's part of why I said you know, you want it to be dense, not, you know, just really, really soft. Because that way it gives some um, strength to hold what you're going to add to it. I also got a couple of little mini tree toppers. And there's two, three different kinds that came in that set of... Uh, 65 and I think that's perfect a perfect size for that but it's white and I don't want white so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put the box over there let me grab the box really quick these extras in here for now. I didn't those. And there was even some little snowflakes in here. But I've also got stuff on my own. You know, with some silver snowflakes and I bought some black and plaid ribbon, which I don't know if that's going to work so well on a gold tree, but we'll see. But I did, I dug out my, uh, my gold sequins, so I thought that would be pretty to make some uh, sparkle on. So let's put these out of the way for a minute. I'm just going to put these in here. Get them out of the way. Some of my other Christmas craft stuff. bit of room. We'll set this aside. Okay. Now I'm going to go with my glitter glue. And I've got some burgundy. And a little bit of gold. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. And what's cool is if I don't like it, I can just clean it off and do it again. But this will be perfect on, let's see, is that, yep, on a wooden bow that I'm going to stick down in the center, hold, you know, to hold that on. Not that one specifically because that one's my stir stick, but that's just an example. 
So I think what I'm going to do, this one's almost out. Make sure it all goes down to the bottom. I'm going to squeeze. It's a good blob. And then I'm going to spread it. And it's not completely covering, you know, what's there. But it's giving it more of a color that, you know, that I want. I need a little bit more. Set that aside. But you see how that works? This gives it a little bit. And it's not so plain. I'm getting a really bad, looks like I'm getting a bad glare. I'll figure out how my lighting works. All right. I'm do a little bit on the sides. Which I'm just going to squeeze out right there so I can use my finger. I'll do the back too, but I want to let this dry a little bit. This is that old glitter glue that you get when you buy stockings, you know? I mean, this is a, several years old, but, uh, you know, where you can write your name and on the stocking and stuff like that. I've had it forever. All my kids are grown up and my grandkids are with their kids or with their, my kids. So I don't, I don't get to do that anymore. There. Now from being plain, you know, which is this side. I've got it looking like that now, which I really like. So I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to do the back. <sighs> Get my towel. And while that's drying, itty bitty bulbs which I don't like string on so I'm going to oh, here's my scissors I couldn't find them for a minute oh. no 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 there we go in the middle of the glue. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to cut these off. all of them. Nope, this one. <clears throat> okay, let's get this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get this so I can clean this up.
let that dry. Okay. <clears throat> so usually these look like bulbs, but they also to me look like light. So I'm thinking about um, putting them on like you would, you know, your Christmas lights on your tree. And, you know, everybody knows the lights go first. At least in my household, they do. <sighs> and so what I'm going to do is let me get something to hold these in. Right down here. That works. That went a lot quicker than normal. Okay. That went quicker than trying to do them individually. But the other ones were, it looks like she sent me what was left over of a package that she didn't use. sucks. That worked. Okay. Pull them all up together. And that's that. Well, you might be thinking, why is she sitting here showing me this? Well, on top of while I'm doing that, my glue gun is heating up. So it's giving me a, a few extra seconds to, to do what, you know, I can do while I'm waiting. Yeah, it feels dry. So I'm going to put them in like that. Um, you know, all the way around. So we're going to start at the top. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the coffee filter and then tuck that in. And that's all I'm doing. Now you can't see that right now. And they look like little Christmas bulbs. Uh, put one right there. There we go. 
using miniature bulbs are uh, obviously going to weigh a lot less than um, you know regular bulbs or even some embellishments. Um, one of my last ones I've put I put pearls. I did a shabby chic one. That's the one that went with in my auction. Um, and it had lace and the tree was painted in a, a real pale pink. go. Put a red right here. And you'll see it as I turn it around. Because obviously I can't do something if I'm not facing it. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to put a gold one up top. Bottom. Oh, I don't want a red, I want a green. So there you've got it so far. You know, and the whole thing about it is let's do a purple. is doing it in layers and you can make this as elaborate or as simple as you want. Now obviously this is not going to be the only thing I put on the tree. Come on, there we go. Oops. I think I need one up in here, don't I? No, not really. But I do need one down here. So let me grab a purple one. And these are so light. See that so far? I think that's pretty cool. Um, that was hot. I don't mean in a good way. And this is pretty much all it takes.
and it should take some time. Oh, that was hot. And a little bit of, uh, let me put one down here. No, I don't want another green one, I want a purple one. But yeah, it just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. And you've got it made. And you can decorate it, like I said, any way you want. And I don't want a purple. Let's do a red. And what do I need? I need a purple down here. And I want a red up top right here. And it's just turning and seeing, you know, if you're missing any spots or, and I believe I'm going to stick, no, nope, I don't want to put that one there. I don't want to put that one there. Well, let's do another red. Like I said, her colors are burgundy and red, so... That's what we're going to do. And I think I'm going to do the last couple reds. I don't believe there's any more. Huh. I missed a spot. So let's trim that. There we go. I'm going to put a red down here. All right, and I think that's going to be it for those. I found a gap. Okay. But I'm not going to worry about it since it's all painted. And if you find a gap, okay, for instance, like I found one, so you can see it right by the red bulb right here. What I'm going to do, instead of trying to, you know, color another uh, coffee filter to put it in there, you can either stuff it with something to, um, you know, to fill it, or you can just glue a couple of the coffee filters together, and that kind of fills that 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 hole. Oh, let's see. I found a spot I want a little bit more gold on. Oh, it got. Clogged. So let's try the shimmer for now. I don't feel like going through and unclogging it. There we go. Nope. Oh, that works for me. Uh, all right. So we've got these done. For now, I mean, I may 
find a blank spot that I need to fill with something. So we're going to set those aside. And we're going to go with something else. So I'm going to decorate this for a few more items and then I'll bring it back and show you uh, what it looks like at that point. Okay, this is what I've got so far. Um, I went ahead and added the plaid bows because I figured if I could balance it out, it wouldn't look so bad. So I added some plaid ribbon that I had and swerp, swerped, swooped it and swirled it. And yes, I swerped it. And that's what I've got so far. It's not done yet. I did add right here the bowel I was going to put in there. Actually, I used a skewer, bamboo skewer, and uh, put it in there, and I glued it. Now what I'm going to do to secure it a little better is I'm going to tip it upside down, and yes, I glued the ribbon in several spots. I'm going to drop some glue in. Well, if I can get it straight up and down. Oh, my glue stick doesn't want to stick. I'm just kind of fill that little hole in. Not a whole lot, but enough. Not even going down in there. I got to aim it better, I guess. There we go. All I'm doing is giving that dowel a little bit of stability from the bottom. <clears throat> and there we go. I squashed it a little, so I'm going to probably should have done that first. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. I did end up taking off those purple bulbs because it kind of took away from the uh, uh, red and the gold theme. Didn't quite match for me. So I took those out. And this is what I've got so far. I said, I'm not quite done. Got some more bulbs to do. I'm going to do some red and then I'm probably going to do some gold. And that might, that might be done. Um, I saved one plaid ribbon. Well, two actually, because I'm going to put one on each side uh, for the top of the, the Christmas tree, you know, like up here. But you can't see it. Let me put this one this way. Um, I may I just add a burgundy. I'm not sure. Um, I'm still working on it. But for now, I'm going to let this go. And uh, I'm going to let it set for a little while. And then I'll come back to it. Because sometimes when you get deep and involved in something, it really helps to take a step back. Look at it again with a fresh, you know, with a fresh outlook. So this is part two. I'm going to go ahead and end this and we will do a part three and finish it up. So but thank you very much for watching and joining me. Um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Um, click subscribe if you like. 
Uh, and always, always, always remember to find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next time.